Sabrina Myron. I'm the president of Muncie High School's Diversity Club. As the president, I would like to sincerely thank all of you for attending tonight's really big show. Your attendance will make a difference to over 1,000 individuals and 500 households in eastern Lycoming County. All the proceeds from tonight's really big show will be donated to the Sunlight House, a charitable organization located right here in Muncie. Diversity Club strives to make a difference in our community by volunteering and accepting others. And without the help of our community, we would not be able to make a difference to those in need. Our neighbors, families, friends, and even classmates have benefited from this nonprofit organization for over 29 years. If you're interested in personally supporting the Sunlight House, they always need volunteer, volunteers, money, food, clothing, small furniture, toys, and book donations. If you have any questions regarding the Sunlight House, they're located at 130 Carpenter Street, Muncie, and are open for donations every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday from 7.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. I would also like to thank the volunteers, businesses, students, and staff whose support and dedication made tonight's really big show possible. Now, I would like to introduce tonight's Master of Ceremonies, Katie Nyer, a freshman at Muncie High School. She is a fun-loving girl with a quick wit. Her favorite things to do during her free time are to harass her parents and sing opera in the shower. <laughs> a little secret nobody knows about Katie is, she's a wonderful cook and she makes a mean bowl of fruity pebbles. <laughs> in all seriousness, this is Katie's first time as an MC, and I think you're really going to enjoy her. So without further ado, Katie Nyer. <laughs> How are we all today? Wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. I'm having a pretty good day. I mean, I had noodles for dinner, so I'm kind of feeling good now. <laughs> Welcome to the second annual Really Big Show. Let's give a big old Indian applause. Actually, how many of y'all really know what an Indian applause is? I'm going to judge that as a no, since none of y'all said, Hey, look at me, I know what it is, so... And Indian applause is like in, back in elementary school when the teachers would clap the rhythm and we'd have to repeat it. So I think the most common one they did was like, give me a sec, I haven't exactly figured out where to put my mic when I do this. So. <laughs> Not bad for a first try for kindergartners. That's okay, <laughs> we're working on it. All right, we're gonna do that one again, just nice and simple, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, you're growing up. <laughs> I might cry. Sorry, I need my paper again. <laughs> so how about we give that Indian applause for the Sunlight House and everything they do to help our community, because they're awesome people. <laughs> oh, you don't even need help anymore. <laughs> you're like 13th, 12th graders. Here we go. Sorry, 13 isn't a great kind of moment. That was fun. That wasn't like English fun though, like our dear Mrs. McCacken says. She has a saying here that there's English fun and there's real fun. And I'm sorry to be disappointing her here, but this year, this is legit real fun. <laughs> well, it's time to sit back, kick off your shoes, unless you have stinky feet or something, then I wouldn't suggest doing it. And we're gonna have some real fun. Our first performer tonight is Ashley Wright. She's in seventh grade and she'll be singing back to December. I cannot read that. Uh, I'm not done yet, so. Sorry, you caught me on the subject of December here. I was thinking, it feels a whole lot like December. It's raining, it's cold, and it's just less. Yes, yes. I'm glad you can participate. I am happy. Okay, if, if this rain keeps up, frankly, no one's going to show up on one of our doorsteps. And actually, since he's coming, who wants to volunteer to help me build an ark and get animals? And can one of you bring a shovel? <laughs> no? 
Then I don't like any of you anymore. <laughs> you lost all your goodness from the Indian club. <laughs> okay, let's give Ashley a nice warm welcome as she sings Back to December. Sorry. That performance was pretty freaking fantastic. I gotta give her that. Oh, nice job. I hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can. Well, our next act would like to be known as Better Than the Next Guy. And when you learn about him, you just might agree. First is Sean McCollum. He's a ninth grade student, and his hobbies include practicing Kung Fu and playing the piano. Sean dreams one day of becoming a piano playing Kung Fu, Kung Fu master. Kung Fu, wow. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta give me a little credit here. Yeah, I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> he likes to play piano and he wants to become a Kung Fu master and open his own Kung Fu school. Joining Sean is Alex Kramer, who is also a ninth grade student. His interests include playing baseball and the guitar. Alex's future goals include attending college to become a lawyer or a doctor. I heard that little, it's not nice. I think it came from over there, but I'm not making a promise. In his free time, Alex enjoys eating pizza and has been known to chow down on three, three large deluxe pizzas, which I'm assuming are pretty large since it says deluxe and large. It actually kind of stomps my record of seven slices, so I'm going to have to go and beat him now. <laughs> And the final member of the group is Ted Coppice, who's also one of the youngest competitors. Ted is a seventh grade student who enjoys listening to the Beatles and playing guitar. His influence include John Lennon, the Sirens, and his Aunt Jenny. A little interesting story about Ted. Last night, I overheard him saying that he was shaving. Yes, Ted shaves, be nice to him, he's a growing man. And he said that the shaving cream smelled so sweet and delicious that he might have switched it for whipping cream instead. <laughs> I don't know how you can do that exactly, but he's young-ish. <laughs> Whatever, he's Ted. So let's whip out a big round of applause for the boys who call themselves better than the next act as they sing Maybe I'm Amazed. I get the feeling that was a popular group, judging by your screams. <laughs> well, here's a few guitar jokes to get us still amped for them and for, the, for our next act. What's the difference between a guitar and a tuna fish? Yes, I heard it down here. You can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> say to the guitarist? Pick on someone your own size. How do you get a guitar player to play softer? I get a feeling that people don't know. You give them a sheet of music. Our next performers are Trevor Eshelman and Evan Hinkle. They'll be performing an original song with original lyrics. Trevor composed the music, and Evan and Trevor worked to write the lyrics. Anyone who's ever tried to write a song can know what, what an issue this can be. I try to write songs, then I usually end up somewhere on the subject of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make me feel better. You don't say yeah when someone says that bad. <laughs> okay, I forget. I don't know who you are. That's irritating me. <laughs> Whatever. Trevor's a self tart A self tart <laughs> He's a self-taught guitarist who didn't start writing his own music until about a year ago. And this is the first time Evan has ever helped write and perform original lyrics. As you will see, these two seniors have worked very hard and created a special piece of music for us to all enjoy together and not make anybody like their MC feel bad, you people over there. <laughs> you should be. I still know who you are. <laughs> Without further ado, and so I don't get insulted anymore, 
Here are Evan and Trevor with their original piece entitled Tell Me a Line. So let's give them a big round of applause. Before our next act, I want to remind you to please consider volunteering your time to help distribute food and clothing to the Sun Lighthouse and keep them in mind when you're cleaning out your shelves or cupboards or your closets or look, just looking for some place to take your stuff that you don't want, like my cape. I got it from my cousin who didn't want it. It's good. It's like... Sorry, she settles right behind me and she scared me a little bit. <laughs> Donations are always welcome. If you'd like to make a monetary contribution, we'll have them. Sorry, can't read. We'll have donations baskets as you leave the show tonight. Every cent matters. Unless it's your two cents, father. You can keep that. I love you, Katie. I love you too, <laughs> All right, let's get on with the show so my father doesn't yell, I love you, Katie, anymore. <laughs> Our next act is a singing and dancing number that may bring tears to your eyes. Let's give a warm welcome to Tierney Shively and Lindsay Holmes as they perform Beautiful Disaster. Our next act, our next act is a singing duet by Paige Cunningham and Rachel Moore. They'll be singing the riddle. But, as always, I can't just bring it straight into their act. You have to hear me blabber on a little bit. I think I know who you are. <laughs> what do you call a duck who gets all A's in school? <laughs> a wise quacker. <laughs> Why do birds fly south? Okay, you really think I'm gonna stay for the winter? That's logical. <laughs> Because it's too far to walk. <laughs> there you go, you got the brains clicking. How can you tell how happy a motorcyclist is? Yeah, I heard it. The number of bugs in his teeth. <laughs> if King Midas sat on gold, who sat on silver? Yes, the Lone Ranger did. <laughs> or if you ask Mrs. Schaefer, she will say Skittles. Don't ask, you don't want to know, really. <laughs> what was the worm doing in the cornfield? Why would a worm be eating corn? <laughs> it was going in one ear and out the other, not eating. <laughs> okay, you got enough jokes, because y'all are, like, killing me over here. Here's Paige and Rachel singing the riddle. Because in the world 
thanks to people who have helped us along and someone that was forgotten in the program were Affordable Music. They've been doing all of our music and tech stuff, so obviously without them we wouldn't be doing very well. Give them an extra round of applause too.
performance we have tonight is something we can all relate to. It's a song about spaghetti. <laughs> but this isn't just any kind of spaghetti. Spaghetti-o's. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I know, I'm just disappointed myself. Emily Sweeney will be singing This One's For The Girls, a song about the hardship of growing up and being a girl. Man, feel like a... That's the wrong song, sorry. I like that song, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. It's called the same basic female present, same thing. But let's bring our hands together for Emily Sweeney. I'm not tangled back there anymore. Some of you may recognize our next performer because she played the role of Dorothy in Muncie High School's production of The Wiz. <laughs> Olivia Rankle is a talented performer who enjoys singing, dancing, acting, which is really a good thing because she's been doing that for most of her life. So it'd be kind of hard to say she didn't like it. So let's put our paws, hands, those are what you got together, for Olivia Rankle singing it a flight. No, that's not the right, that's not the right title. It's, no it isn't, it's get a mic, tight. Fine, you won't think it's get a right. You happen to be right. Get out. See ya. <laughs> Muncie, welcome as we wait for the scores. Performing their tribute song to Muncie, here is Teacher's Pet. 